Good morning, everyone. Today we have a big event for my postdoctoral uh, fellowship. But first, I need to get on a plane. Okay, so today's event is a professional development type of program to help postdocs, but also other fellows learn about academic progress, professionalization, and also how to prepare like their job applications and things of that nature. But it's hosted in Oakland, so that's where I'm headed right now. Okay, we arrived to the location. It's a very nice banquet looking thing. So it is a conference or like a symposium type deal. So we'll go in and there'll be different workshops. We have to register. I also have to get a COVID test and hopefully they have some here on campus or this whole trip would be off or not. Um, but all in all, kind of really excited about this. Again, like I said, it's about professional development, but there's a bunch of different people here, people who have postdocs, people who have dissertation year fellowships, HBCU fellows are all coming to this event that is hosted by the UCs to help us prepare for post-grad life and um, hopefully if you're interested in tenure and things like that, it's really to give you the information and the awareness that you need to be successful. Okay, I need to go in and register because there's a long line. I always enjoy seeing my name. <laughs> okay, so they're giving us breakfast. We have yogurt, fresh fruits, flowers. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that's butter. Croissant preserves and more croissant. Not gonna be ungrateful, but I don't know. I was hoping for some type of meat, maybe some potato, but this, I mean, this will help. This is good. It's free. <laughs> Okay, so all of the workshops or sessions have been completed. 
Um, the first workshop was about grant writing and publishing. And it was interesting how they structured these workshops or sessions. So in each session, there was three speakers and they all had about five minutes to speak. And then the rest of the 30 minutes or 35 minutes or so were open for us to ask questions and really engage in dialogue. So in the grant and publishing, a lot of people wanted to know about kind of organization of writing, um, writing strategies to be consistent. But something that I thought was really useful was a conversation about finding editors and how to think about editors and also understanding that there are predatory publishers that may re out, reach out to you as a graduate student uh, to publish your things, but maybe asking you for an exorbitant amount of money or just trying to take your intellectual work. And so it's really important with editors and with publishers, or this is what I learned, um, to try and vet them, ask your colleagues, build a network, and try not to pay publishers for publishing your materials. Now again, I imagine this is probably different from uh, each discipline. Again, I'm arts and humanities, and so it's very uncommon for us to have to pay to get published. I'm not really familiar with STEM, but oh, in general, that was kind of the major takeaway. I do wanna say, um, I forgot to vlog lunch so after the first session we had lunch it was Mexican food or like a type of Mexican food but it was actually quite delicious I don't even have a picture to put in but just imagine me eating it was good um, the second session was amazing it was about job searches so again three speakers and generally what they discussed was kind of what the expectations are with your job packet and how to think about the application process and prepare for your interviews. Now the takeaways with these were a little more personal in the sense that um, I just feel every time I have a conversation about academic job search I feel a little more empowered to think about applying and to apply and in these conversations they talked a lot about how to make sure when you're applying and just like I've talked about in like this video about grants to make sure that you fit into the department's calling and that you're tailoring each application to really describe how you are meeting the needs of the department and so generic applications or vague research statements and things like that aren't going to be very useful. Now again, I'll make a whole video about that as I get more informed on the information and go through the process. So subscribe if you're interested in that. Um, and then the very last um, workshop that I decided to go to was about academic tenure. And it's not because I'm anywhere near that process. Before you can get tenure, you need to have a job. But I will say I wanted to know what the expectations were or kind of the challenges of tenure so I can think ahead as a postdoc to set myself up for success. So a lot of what they talked about really was thinking about how to negotiate your tenure package or find transparency within your tenure package. And again, I didn't even know like book deals, publications, teaching, service, and all of these other things. I'll talk more about tenure again later but all in all, this has been a really positive experience. I am exhausted. Um, I almost fell asleep in the last session, not because it's boring, but just because I've been up since 4 a.m. because of flying in. Um, but everybody is like over there um, mingling. So I'm gonna go and make friends. I don't know. I'm really, really sleepy and probably a little delusional. But yeah, I feel, again, I say this all the time, but I feel very lucky to be a part of this program. And I highly, highly, highly suggest anybody who's about to graduate or thinking about graduating with a PhD should really look into the UC President's postdocs or the UC Chancellor programs because they are super helpful in professional development and making sure you are prepared and supported to be successful as an academic. Okay time to make friends <laughs> okay maybe I didn't record lunch but look there's like a little after party snack thing going on so I'm about to go get some snacks Ooh, dessert I know I was gonna take a picture too <laughs> y'all this cookie is so good I usually don't like cookies that are like at banquets or whatever, but 
it's so soft and gooey and like huge. Oh, what a beautiful way to end this event. I'm so impressed by this cheese. <laughs> Okay, I think it was a successful day. I just spent like the last hour and a half getting to know somebody else that's at the same university as me as a postdoc. And she was really kind and sweet and that was really nice. Now I'm waiting for the shuttle to go back to the airport and I will be headed off back to LA. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week. Travelers to get it for the flight. If I call your name or a friend's name, can you ring your flight call?